Hey, what's going on? I just wanted to do a uh, final video for 2010. It's uh, New Year's Eve now, and it's about 7.45, so we're about four and a half hours away from the um, start of 2011. I just kind of want to reflect a little bit on 2010 uh, before the year's up and, uh, you know, kind of talk about what's going to be happening in 2011. When I look back at 2010, it, it, overall I would have to say it was a good year, but it wasn't as good as it could have been, at least not as far as gigs were concerned. Uh, I came out of a very strong 2009 of having a lot of gigs, and uh, 2010, well, gigs were down some. I and mean, I still had a good year, but it wasn't as good as 2009 was when you compare that. So gigs were down, and I think the economy had a lot to do with that. So anyway, I'm going to be making some changes for that for 2011 to hopefully uh, get some more gigs. And I'll be telling you more about that in another video, but we won't go into that right now. But, uh, you know, I do have some things that I am doing. Uh, to uh, make uh, 2011 hopefully uh, more profitable. And of course, uh, you know, we had a lot of things happening in 2010. We had a great Mobile Beat Las Vegas show in 2010 back in February. It was great. We all had a great time. And I think that that was, um, that was something that's probably one of the biggest highlights of 2010. Now, when you look back at the uh, world news and uh, things that were happening, I think probably the oil spill has to take the top story, uh, especially you know, living along the Gulf Coast. Now, how did that affect us when, when you really think about that? Well, I really think that uh, the media cried wolf with that. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, they the media tried to make it sound like that the Florida beaches and all the Gulf Coast beaches were just totally ruined. That's why, you know, tourism was down this year. I mean, so, you know, living along the Gulf Coast here in Pensacola and, you know, all the towns along the Gulf Coast, they rely on tourism. And a lot of people got the impression that our beaches were just wiped out and that there was nothing but just black oil all over the place. Well, in some areas that may have been true, but uh, at least here in Pensacola, you know, you may have been walking down the beach, you may have seen a little tar ball here and there, but I mean, but it wasn't nothing. Like, like this big catastrophe that they were trying to make it out to be. So anyway, that's uh, that's what happened with that. Now people ask me about the you know about the oil spill and you know do I think that we need to be drilling out in the Gulf of Mexico? Well, let me tell you what I feel about that. Okay, yes, I am in favor of drilling uh, in the Gulf of Mexico despite the oil spill. And well, you know a lot of people say no, we don't need to be drilling in the oil spill. Well, have you looked at gas prices lately? I mean, if we were to able to use the uh, the oil that's right off our shores, it could bring down gas prices. And uh, am I concerned about you know another oil spill? Well, of course I am. But think about this for a second, okay? How many oil spills have we had in the Gulf of Mexico? This has been one in how many years of you know them drilling out there off the Texas coast and Louisiana coastlines? You know, so really think about that. I mean, you know, just to categorize it by that, by saying, you know, we shouldn't do any offshore drilling just because this one incident would be like saying, okay, we shouldn't be flying around in airplanes because one of them crashed, or, you know, we shouldn't, uh, you know, we might just need to outlaw driving because a drunk could get behind the wheel and kill somebody. Well, you know, th these things happen, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the, what I think that we need to do as far as the uh, drilling goes is I think that uh, the government needs to look at uh, ways to you know, try to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Because really, I mean, when you really think about it, it, it wasn't the actual drilling in the Gulf that caused this problem. It was negligence by BP. That's what it was. I mean, somebody not doing their job and inspecting these things. So, you know, I think if we do it the right way and do it safely and make sure that we inspect all the rigs out there to make sure something like this doesn't happen again, then yes, I'm all for it. But, I, you know, I definitely don't want to see another oil spill. But I don't think we need to let that one oil spill stop us from drilling in the Gulf of Mexico. I just... You know, I don't think that that one instance should be enough to stop that. So anyway, that's my whole take on that. Also, I wanted to, uh, you know, talk about some other things that happened. Of course, we had a lot of gig logs this year, and I did have a problem with a bride. You know, we talked about that, so got those videos posted right here on YouTube. And, uh, you know, it was a pretty eventful year as far as that goes. And, um, you know, I think that, uh, that when you look back at that, it was a pretty, uh, pretty good year. Now, something else that I wanted to um, uh, mention is uh, what's going to be happening in 2011. And, of course, so we got a lot of things coming up. We've got Mobile Beat Las Vegas coming up in another few weeks. And I'm going to be doing a video on that. So if you haven't gotten your passes yet and you're still on the fence about going, I'm going to convince you that you need to go, okay? But I'm not going to do that right now, but I will be talking about that in another video because I've been reading some of the Facebook pages and, you know, some people are saying, ah, oh, you don't need to come and you don't need to stay at the Riviera and, you know, and the Riviera's a dump and all this other stuff. We're going to clear up some things for you, okay, on that about Mobile Beat and hopefully you'll come out and join us again. Again, the dates for that are the um, February 1st through the 3rd with the pre-events beginning on January 31st. That's a Monday, so that's, what, about four weeks away? And uh, we're going to be having a good time out there, so we'd like to see you out there as well. So anyway, and like I said, uh, coming up uh, in the next uh, a few months, uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you. As of right now, I don't have any gigs until April. 
You know, like I said, bookings are down right now, but I'm hoping that that's going to change. But in the meantime, some ideas I've, I've got uh, uh, floating around are I'm going to be doing some more vlogs and uh, maybe, you know, showcasing some other things. So, you know, you're going to still continue to see videos uh, from me over the next few months, even if I don't have any gig logs at all. But, you, you know, we'll still continue to do videos. But hopefully that'll change, like I said, and we'll just have to see what happens. Now, Brian S. Red actually gave me an idea about uh, Ustream. I'm actually considering doing uh, a Ustream show. And I saw how he was doing that, and I thought that's pretty fun. And uh, kind of what I was thinking about doing is filling the void by doing that, you know. And and I don't know. I mean, it's just an idea I'm just throwing around. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that or not, but I actually thought about doing something here from the Oval Office and uh, playing music. And, uh, you know, I think it would be kind of fun to maybe get the lights out and, you know, have a good time in here. And uh, maybe call it, uh, I don't know, the 80s from the Oval Office or something like that. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with that because I love 80s music. But, you know, it's just something I'm just kind of throwing around right now. And, uh, you know, that may be something I may be considering uh, to kind of uh, avoid the time. But, but here's something else I was thinking about, too. Okay, if you're in a slump kind of like I am, you don't have any gigs for a while, here's a, a good way that you can pass the time. Why not look at ways to make your DJ service better? Like, I mean, I've already started, you know, working on my other YouTube channel. I'm going to start doing some uh, more videos for clients to see and uh, things like that. And I'm also uh, going to be taking a look at my equipment, you know, and making sure that it's up to par. And, you know, just doing what you can to improve your DJ service. And, um, you know, that's probably what you could do uh, in the meantime. But like I said, as of right now, I don't have another gig until April, but I'm hoping hoping that's going to change. We'll have to wait and see on that, though. But uh, I'm getting ready to talk to another guy about doing a new website for me and some other things. I think that's going to help out a lot, too. So anyway, we'll, we're going to try to make 2011 a lot better than, um, than 2010. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, now I'm getting ready to uh, lay down for a little bit, and I'm going to walk outside here in a little while. And I think my neighbor's going to be shooting off the fireworks. If you saw the July 4th fireworks, uh, the same neighbor is going to be uh, shooting them off tonight at midnight. So uh, he said that uh, I think for July 4th, I think he did over 100 fireworks. I think tonight he said he's going to be doing over 1,000. So I may record that, and that may be the, be the first uh, uh, video of 2011. So that'll be fun. And um, I hope we can get to do it because it's been raining here uh, pretty much off and on all day long. So hopefully we'll get to get the fireworks in tonight and uh, have a good time. You know, that, that's what's so great. I mean, I don't have to go anywhere tonight to have a good time because all the neighbors will be out in their yard, and we'll uh, all spend New Year's Eve together. So... Anyway, that's uh, that's it for now, so uh, have a very safe and happy new year. And I'm going to tell you guys something that I always tell my radio listeners every time, and I think I've even said it on a few of my videos. If you're going out tonight and you're going to be drinking or anything like that, don't drive. Okay, that's the most important thing that I, I can't stress enough is a don't drink and drive. And I know that a lot of uh, towns are offering a free cab rides if you are uh, you know uh, have too much to drink. And I think AAA is even offering a free tow towing tonight. If you're, you know, at a party, they'll tow your car home and give you a ride home as well. So that would be a, um, a good thing to take advantage of. Now think about this, okay? If your town doesn't offer the free cab rides or the uh, free tow trucks, well, you know what? You may have to pay for a tow truck to tow your car home or you may have to pay for a cab ride or something like that. But think about this, okay? That may cost you a little bit of money, but a DUI or a DWI in some states, as they call it, will cost you a lot more, and it might even cost you somebody else, somebody's life or even your own. So again, let's all be safe. Let's all look forward to a very happy 2011, and a happy new year to all you guys. Practice and enjoy.